Burr deals for out-of-state investors. If that's you, you're going to want to watch this show. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Holla! My name is James Wise. This is the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. This is the show where I work with investors like you. We do this one-on-one, -on -one, right? You get me, you get my team. We make personalized videos for our clients. Most of our clients are out-of-state investors. The two dudes I'm working with today are my guys, Ricky and Robbie. They're from Oregon. You bros, you professional investors, right? You guys, uh, you know what you're doing. You've been doing a lot of investing, even on a brokerage out there. But the price points are obviously expensive, so you want to expand your empire. You targeted Cleveland. Uh, you need boots on the ground. That's what we do, right? We can help you find the properties in videos like this. I'll represent you as your agent. I know you guys are brokers, but, you know, you're not brokers in Cleveland, so you need my assistance. Uh, you need me to walk you through the neighborhoods, what's going on. And then, of course, you want my construction, insurance, title, property management, the whole nine, right? So uh, I got it all for you, dudes. And uh, you guys want bird deals? Uh, just got done filming another video for you, which uh, you should probably, I assume, have watched before this one. And that one, you got to move fucking quick, dude. You don't have time on that one. That one's going to fucking fly. This one, you got a little bit more time, okay? This little guy, uh, it's not... Uh, built as, uh, well, it's not like a big, huge, beautiful, true duplex like the other one. So it's going to have a lower ARV, lower demand, but still uh, pencils out to a pretty good deal. I actually looked at this for another investor uh, in a series of videos I did for that guy. Uh, smaller investor, so he's only able to do one of those deals. So this one's still available. I want you guys to take a look at that footage now. 3823 Muriel Ave, Cleveland, 44109. Been on the market two days, just hit the market. I want to move quick. This is going to go fast. It was already under contract with somebody else. Uh, it fell out of contract because I guess that buyer's um, financing fell through, right? That's what the listing agent said, okay? 64.5. That's why it's going to fly, dude. It is cheap. It's a little uh, 2121, okay? 2121 duplex. As far as rents go, when we fix it up, We'll be able to get thirteen hundo a month. That's fifteen thousand six hundred a year. Now, usually uh, in this neighborhood, like like little C grade neighborhood here, blue collar neighborhood, usually when I do these two ones, you see me doing seven fifty a unit. That's normally what Holton Wise gets. But as we cruise through the photos, and just as you can see, like from the main uh, picture here, this is not like one of those huge, true traditional duplexes. Those are bigger. Uh, these units are a little bit smaller, right? So because of the square footage of the majority of duplexes I do on this show is bigger, I want to compensate for that make sure you get the most transparent look at the numbers possible right so uh back the rent down to 650 like i don't know dude like probably 90 percent of the two bedroom units we have at holton wise uh when we lease them we're going around the 750 range but dude i'm all about giving you guys uh complete transparency so these units are a little lower so i wanted to lower those or a little littler a little bit littler so i wanted to lower those expectations and as far as they go like you know Obviously, Carson, you get this, right? You've been in the game. Uh, listing agents, right? The person that works, she's like Howard Hanna agent, right? She was hired by the seller to sell this property. So when she takes pictures, she's going to try to make it look as good and as appealing as humanly possible. Like you would be looking at this picture and you'd think like, oh, sweet. You don't really need to do any renovation. But as we like cruise through the pictures more, you can see that both units are going to need a little bit of reno. Like you can see this floor. Like if you look closely, like the floor is like kind of screwed up. It's like kind of popping off a little bit. You got peeling paint right there. There's no outlet cover on that outlet. Uh, you got the really old, like, uh, titty light, right? I mean, titty lights are still being used, but not the gold titty lights. You got to get the uh, silver titty lights in 2021, folks. The silver titty lights. And then this flooring in the uh, kitchen there, that is not going to fly. It's not going to uh, look good. Now, we will still probably keep uh, what we got going on here. That seems to be okay. Just fix it up in that one room. And then right here, we'll put a newer vinyl flooring in this room that we could match to the the bathroom and then we can get a silver uh transition strip not this gold one right just like that gold titty light ain't gonna work you can't rock the uh gold transition uh here i'd like to see the vanity upgraded right this old 
this old dated color. That's not going to work. Uh, maybe we do a new vanity. Maybe we paint it. I'll leave that up to my construction crew when they bid it out. Uh, that light fixture, that's got to go. You know, that's old. That's dated, right? We can get the new vinyl floor in here to match the other one. Uh, the shower tub surround looks pretty good. No issues there. These cabinets are fine. They're dated. Uh, we could utilize them. The countertop's probably good to go as well. I would just want to see these probably get painted. Paint them either a gray or a white. Lenders, our investors are looking to work with you. Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com to be part of our referral network. Uh, and even the doors, even though they're a little dated, like you could see they got the little, uh, I don't know, like whooshy thing of an hammer. That'd be okay. If you paint that white, it should look pretty good or gray. They, sometimes they like to go with the really dark gray. This unit, this unit's a little bit more rough. Same thing here. Like we can keep the boxes and stuff, just paint it, upgrade it. Uh, there's back to the other kitchen. I don't know, that photo was out of, out of order there. But the other unit, a uh, little more... A little more worse for the wear, right? You see the flooring, it's all messed up. Probably need to hit this unit with some paint. Uh, this bathroom, same thing. Dated vanity, dated mirror. All right. Got some peeling paint on this window sill. That's a no-gooder. Floor's all jacked up in this room. That's a no-gooder. Uh, a little closet, probably just repaint that bad boy. Got some peeling paint on this door, right? So, you know, it's not horrible, but, you know, needs some cosmetic love, okay? As far as price goes, they got it at 64.5. I think you come in cash. We could probably pick it up at 55. I'd love to pick it up for you at 55. And then to do those cosmetic stuff I was just kind of talking about, uh, of course, you'll get a line by line bid for my team. But, you know, basically painting, upgrade, everything I just talked about, right? You're looking at about 20 G's, right? That's a 20 spot right there. So you're about 75K. Of that $1,300 a month in rent that comes in, right? Because we do that twenty k, that's what we'll get. We'll get that $1,300 a month in rent. Again, I lowered the expectation on the rent because the units are smaller. I anticipate average performance being approximately $8,088 a year going towards your expenses. And then seventy five twelve being your profit. On top of that profit, you'll see... I have line items for three major things, okay? Repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, capital expenditures, right? Your capital expenditures, that goes towards your roof, furnace, hot water tank replacements, okay? None of them are new here, right? We get the inspection report. They're all going to be mid to end of life, okay? That's why the property, I'm trying to get it for 55 and or they listed it for 64.5, right? That's why it's cheap. If uh, those items were all new, it'd be more expensive, okay? So you're going to rock the existing fixtures, uh, the existing mechanicals, those existing big ticket items until they uh, break. And then as soon as they break, each of them individually, you'll replace them. So you're going to be tacking $780 a year like of your money. You're counting that towards your capital expenditure budget. Budget. That is actually money going in your pocket now. That's on top of the 7512, right? So you're keeping the money now, which I'm sure you probably already know. So I just like people, they get the inspection reports on these properties and they like freak out. They're like, oh, I tried buying this duplex and then the inspector said the roof is old. Yeah, I know the roof's old, man. I knew it was old then. That doesn't mean you get to just take the money off the price. That's why it was priced what it was, right? Like, you know, you get the people that are new to the real estate investment game and they hear things about like turnkey and they think like every seller in the world just like does a full renovation on their house before they sell it. That's, that's obviously not how it works, right? And then in addition to that, you got the vacancy and not payment, repairs and maintenance. Most of your repairs and maintenance is, of course, going to come at your tenant turnovers, which is directly related to your vacancy and not payment of rent, which can be mitigated by the Section 8 program, which I have more information on the fact on HoltonWise.com. Now, pulling it off as a bird deal, dog, all in for 75 Gs. That's a 10 cap, but... This the power of the bird deal. When we refinance it out, I believe we will get a refinance amount of approximately 85K, 10K more than what you paid. That's why the bird deal, bird strategy, that's why it's so sweet, right? Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, and repeat. That 10K spread means the bank will give you back 63750 You only got 11 and a quarter left in the deal, resulting in a 38.2% cash on cash return. Uh, you came to me for bird deals, A to C neighborhoods. Boom. Hits you with one right there. All right, Ricky, Robbie, welcome back, dude. So let me know uh, if you're feeling this one, right? If you want to do this one, cool. If not, I totally understand. I still think it's a solid deal. Another notch in the belt, man. Pretty good. If you're asking me on an either or basis, which deal would I prefer to do? I, I would do the last one, the one on West 88th. That one's going to be a fucking 
uh, smoking deal. Because uh, here's the thing, right? We have a whole fuck ton of duplexes in the Cleveland market that are 2-1, okay? Just a whole fuck ton of natural, normal 2-1s that look just like the other one, uh, the West 88th, right? Both this property and West 88th deviate from that just a little bit. West 88th built better. This one, in my opinion, built lesser quality, right? So the norm is here. This one's a little bit under. West 88th is a little bit above. So if you're talking long-term ownership, I'd rather own that than this one. Um, so if it's an either or, I say go with that one. But if it's just fucking give me all of them, I would get this one too. So let me know what you dudes want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.